What's good everyone, today I'm gonna to be talking about finding your way in Brush Studio within Procreate. Now Brush Studio is a powerful feature within Procreate which allows you to create and customize your very own brushes. So let's jump right in and learn how to use it. Firstly, let's start by creating a new brush. And all we have to do once we have our brush library open is tap on the little plus icon up here. That's gonna allow us to jump straight into Brush Studio and work on our brushes. Next, let's customize the new brush we're gonna make. Uh, we're in the Brush Studio here, and we have all the parameters down the left here. This is gonna allow us to change all of these and change what our final brush is gonna look like. Best part of all, we're gonna have a live time view here and be able to experiment and draw with that before we actually go ahead and finalize that brush. One of the first and possibly the most important part of creating brushes is looking at the shape. If we tap on shape on the left-hand menu here, this is gonna allow us to adjust a myriad of different features in this little column. From round, square, and tapered to randomized, this is an area where you can really jump in, experiment a little bit, and create something that's really unique to you. Next, a very important place to stop by is the grain setting right below shape. This is really interesting. This is gonna be looking at your grain behavior. And if this all sounds a little bit foreign, the way I learned this, and the way I suggest you jump in and have a look is just by changing a lot of these parameters here, as soon as you do that, you can draw on the right and see exactly what it's gonna look like when you change each of these little pieces. Next up, let's have a look at dynamics. It's a little bit further down on the left. Dynamics is gonna be really interesting because this is gonna look at how the brush reacts specifically with things like speed, opacity, and jitter as well. If I jump into another brush here, uh, some of these stipple brushes that I created, and we tap on that brush a little further, you're gonna see if I go down to grain on this one uh, or even shape, Grain's probably a better one to have a look at. You're gonna be able to see, I've changed a lot of different features in here, and I've also gone up and had a look at stroke path as well. So for this particular brush, stroke path, if I decrease that, these dots are gonna be much closer together on the right, whereas if I increase that, they're gonna be dragged out. You can see they look like the layout's changing, but this is gonna be great because now, if I wanna create certain effects, and I go, you know what? Those are too far apart. I can change that and see exactly how they're going to look and maybe this is perfect for me. There we have it. Another important one to have a look at is stroke path. Now that you've clicked around a little bit and please keep doing this, it really is important. I do suggest having a look at properties. Third from the bottom on the left hand menu. This is going to be really interesting. This is where you're going to be able to change your preview size. Preview size is going to be what we see here in this little preview of our brush. Uh, if you've created a brush and it's not looking quite right, you want an easier reference make sure you change that preview size, but we can also change the maximum size in here. Maximum size is directly gonna to relate to how much we can change the size on our sliders on the left-hand side of the screen once we've created that brush. So what I like to do, maximum size, I like to maybe have it at about 100, and then go up and down from there. Once you're happy with the way your brush looks, all we have to do is hit done on the top right-hand side of the screen, and our brush has been created. Another thing that could be very useful to you if you are creating more and more brushes as you go, we can tap on our brush here and we can go down to about this brush. This way we can actually change the name of the brush up here by tapping on this section, call it whatever you'd like. I named this one Technical Pen Stipple Wide because I have many different versions of that brush. But if you are someone who is gonna create a lot of brushes, I would highly suggest, just like I would with my layers, to start naming those. It's gonna help you the more and more you create. And there we have it. I hope this has encouraged you to jump into Brush Studio, have a look at it, really play around with a few of the features and just give it a go. See what you can create because you never know what kind of brushes you might come up with and when you might use them in the future. Get out there, have fun with Brush Studio. And as always, a like, subscribe and share. It really helps me continue doing this and bringing you more and more videos each and every week. So until the next video, I'll catch you then.